Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 22nd of August 2018. We're going to reflect on Matthew 21 to 16. Listen. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You two go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to the foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you, or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. The parable of the prodigal son is one of the most famous stories in the Bible. It's in Luke 15, and I'm sure you know it. And it is very often used as, as an illustration of the great love that God has for sinners. However, I discover that a lot of people don't like the parable because they believe the father is being unjust. How they ask, can the father be so good to his son who has squandered half his fortune in sinful living while the elder, obedient son gets the short end of the stick? Now, this is another story that seems patently unfair to many. How can those who have worked hard all day be paid the same wages as people who have worked for just an hour. Isn't this grossly unjust? It is, but only if we look at these things from a worldly perspective. As we have seen several times over the past few months, the kingdom of heaven operates very differently, and as citizens of heaven, we need to understand the ways of heaven. And here are three things we learn from this parable. One, do not have a commercial spirit. In the world, we work for our wages, and barring the occasional bonus, we get paid depending on the work we do. However, isn't it a lot more sensible to be like children depending on the Father rather than our own efforts to be rewarded? God will give us everything we need. In this story, he gave all the laborers what they needed. He didn't shortchange anybody. Two, do not have a competitive spirit. At the end of the Gospel of John, Jesus restores Peter. Remember the three times he asks Peter if he loves him? Then the two set off, but Peter notices that John is following them. What are you going to do about him, Peter wants to know, and Jesus tells him it is none of his business. See, when we look at the blessings others receive, we get jealous and lose focus of the blessings we have received. And that's what happened in this story. Three, do not have a complaining spirit. When we grumble, we too exhibit a marked lack of gratitude. The laborers in the vineyard should have been thankful for the employment that they had obtained, especially because they knew too well that many didn't have jobs. When they grumbled, not only did they show their ingratitude towards the landowner, they lost the pleasure they had in having gainful employment. So, let us not be like them, yeah? God bless you.